Let's go ahead and get started with our upper and core today. Power and toning. Let's start with some body squats. Lower and lift. Good. Squeezing those glutes at the top. So power will be a full pyramid. Lots of exercises. And then we'll hit toning, which is two different stations. So light weight and medium weight. Let's hold it down low right here. Little pulses. Good, warming up those glutes. Walk it forward and take it back. Again, walk it all the way up and take it back. Let's stay right here. Curtsy lunge the diagonal side to side. Nice, three, two, one, lateral lunge. Side to side, pushing those hips back, warming up those legs. We'll still use them even though it's upper and core. Three, two, one, rear lunge, hands go up, drop that back knee, come right back up. Back knee, right back up. Excellent. Good, three, two, and one. Let's walk it out, inchworm, all the way to the bottom of your mat, one push up, then take it right back up, slow and steady, inchworm. Hi Lauren, you owe me five burpees for being late. Just kidding. Walk it out, push up, back up. Last one, walk it out, push up, hold that plank, go right into shoulder taps. In your plank position, tap your left and right, Three, two, one. Take those hips up. Drive your heels into the ground. Nice stretch right here. Good. Back to that plank position. Take your right hand to the sky. Thread that right hand all the way under and lift. Thread it under and lift. One more. Let's switch sides. Left hand up. Thread it under. Back up. Under. Last one. Good. Find that plank position. Go ahead and reach it back. Left hand touches your right toe. Back to plank. Right hand touches your left toe. Back to plank. Reach. Reach. There we go. Three. Two. One. Take those hips up. Walk your hands to your toes. Slowly roll it up. Let's crisscross those arms, stretch out your chest when you're up right here. Good, hinge at those hips. One arm goes in front, one arm goes behind. Loosen up those shoulders. Good, let's take it up right into some butt kicks. Adding that cardio. Perfect. One weight, Lauren, for this whole class. Moderate. You can adjust if you have a lot of weight or an object. Take those knees up. Usually when I'm doing virtual, I have my little niece, one of them, wandering through here, but no children in this house yet. You might see my golden retriever. Hopefully not, or else he'll lie right on my mat. Directly, the only object in the whole house that I need. <laughs> side to side, skaters. Get that space. Travel with it. Good, Laura. Good. You got Naomi. Awesome. Let's switch it up. Last one. Jumping jacks. Touching those fingertips at the top. Good. Getting the heart rate up. Perfect. You got three, two, and one. Very nice. Grab some water. We're going with a giant pyramid. So we'll go 30 seconds, 45 seconds, 75 seconds, 60, 75, 90, and then 75, 60, 45, 30. Up the pyramid, back down the pyramid. First one, you have front raised jacks. I'll explain one exercise at a time. So while you're doing the exercise, I'll show you the other one, or I'll let you give you a little break afterwards. So first one, 
Grab a weight or no weight. Front raise jacks. Jacking those legs, using those shoulders. That's your first one for 30 seconds, all right? Let's get right to it. Front raise jacks, weight or no weight. Light, light, light. Three, two, one. Let's go. Lift and lower while jacking your legs. Good. We got a full pyramid today, and then we hit some supersets afterwards. Going for 30 here. Keep jacking. You got three, two, and one. Relax for a second. Second one, bear taps with the jack. So you're tapping one shoulder as you jack out. Come back in, alternate. Jack, tap, so from the side. Tap, tap, as those knees jump out. 45, three, two, one, let's go. If you're not comfortable with the single arm taps, then just do regular plank jacks or regular bear jacks. So single arm, same time. One tap to your shoulder as your legs pop out. Excellent, guys. This is one for 45. Go into your plank jacks if your shoulders get too tired. Beautiful. Three, two, one. Rest for a second. Next one. You have a push up to a, a renegade row, same side the whole time. So, one push up, one renegade row. Again, push up, renegade row. Same side. Totally fine to do on those knees as well. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Same side. One push up, one renegade row. Or drop to those knees if you want to get your chest even lower. Good. Drive it up. Whatever object you have, pull it up. This one is for 70. No, this one's for 60. Good thing. 75, we'll do something not push up related. <laughs> Woo! Come on. Stay with that same arm. You have 20 seconds left. Drop it to your knees if you need to. Chest comes down low. You guys got it. Come on. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. We move to 75 seconds. You have a single arm bent row to overhead press. So hinge with those hips. Same arm, right arm, row, bring it back down. Clean, press, back down, hinge at your hips. So you can see me, row, clean, press. Here we go, three, two, one, let's do it. Row, clean, press, same side. Row again, clean, press. Focus on driving up that elbow, squeezing those shoulder blades, no matter what weight you have, mind-muscle connection. We'll repeat this one in our push-up running a row later on, so that way we can activate that other side. Good, we're here for a while. We're building up that pyramid. If your weight's very, very heavy, you can always use those legs to take you up, or you can just clean to press, just using those shoulders. Come on, come on. Stick them with that right side. You have 15 seconds left. And then we hit the top of the pyramid, which is 90. We're doing abdominal work for that one. 
What if I said we were doing burpees? Would you guys all just sign off? <laughs> Three, two, one. Good. Abdominal work. You're going to do a knee tuck. Knee tuck into a star hollow hold. So knees in, arms off the ground, legs off the ground, legs off the ground, arms off the ground. In, out. To modify, you can do in and regular hollow hold, or you can just do in and out. Three, two, one, 90 seconds. Pull those knees in, arms out wide, legs out wide, star hollow hold, pull it back in. Release, back in. Your modification, in and out, with those hands on the mat. You guys look good. Dylan, I can't see you, but I know you're working. Come on. All the way up, right back in. We're here for 90. And then we go back down the pyramid. You'll start with your single arm bent row to an overhead press with the left arm. Excellent. Pull it in. You are over halfway. Find that happy place. Get that core work in. Woo! Good. Don't just fall asleep on the ground. Really pull those knees in. Nice, Naomi. Good, Lauren. One to the next. 15 seconds to go. Then we go straight into single arm row to press. Three, two, and one. Stand it up, left side, row to press. Set, let's go. 75 seconds. One row, one clean to press. Back down and hinge up those hips. Good. I'm wearing my training ground shirt. If you guys are from Bethesda, you know what that's all about. You're from Arlington. It's our new personal training studio. So pretty. All new equipment. So that's why my shirt says training ground. If you're like, what is that? It's got to be wearing a different gym. No, Next Things owns it. But it's for our personal training client. Keep going. Drive that elbow up. Brace your core. If you haven't noticed or felt it yet, when you do anything with single arm, it's really targeting those obliques. That left side's working, the full left core of those obliques. Getting stronger. Good, one clean, one press. You guys got 15 seconds. This is 75, then we go to 60. Come on, push-ups to renegade row, our left, left, on your left side. Three, two, one. Push-up, renegade row, left side. Three, two, one. Let's do it. One push-up, one renegade row. Knees or toes. Good, Paulina, you got there fast. Way to transition quickly. Come on, come on. We're gonna work those glutes a little bit after this one. Drive that elbow up, go down to those knees. If you start to move those hips, you guys look awesome. Working that chest and your lap. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. Let's go into some side to side donkey kicks. I'm going to offer you a challenge. Bear crawl position. Flex that foot. Donkey kicks work in the shoulder, abs, and glutes. Or you can be down on your mat and then take those legs up. 45, three, two, one. Let's do it. Knees off the ground, bear crawl. 
cow position, donkey kicks. Or you modify and put your knees on the ground. Good, flex that foot, squeeze the glute. Amazing, guys. We got one more left. It's 30 seconds. Upper and core, let's get it. And a little bit of glute work in in case you didn't come yesterday. You got 15 more. Good, Laura and Lauren. Very nice. Three, two, one. Last one. We alternate. Dumbbell clean to vertical jump. Then we switch. Dumbbell clean, vertical jump. So you can get that weight right by your side and then explode. Three, two, one. Let's go. Clean, jump, switch, clean. Some people might switch faster than others because of that weight. Remember to sit low in it and then drive it up. Good. Good, Naomi, beautiful. Press to those heels. Good, Laura, with that milk carton or water jug, whatever you got there, it's working. Three, two, one. Rest, grab water. That's the whole pyramid. We got it one more time, but just 30 seconds. We'll do every single move, but just 30 seconds. When you're ready, front raise jacks. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Front raise jacks. I'm adding five seconds on because you guys are delayed. <laughs> Just kidding. I think it's Zoom. We're moving. We're moving all together. Fun Friday. Good, lift and lower. Or you can hold that weight here and just jack your legs if you need to modify. Three, two, one. We got bear tap to jack, same time. Bear tap to jack. Three, two, one, let's go. Out, out. Good, one for that. I think my Alexa just went off. You got it, just for 30. We got 10 more. Remember just to jack your legs if you're tired of those arms. Three, two, one. Push up to Renegade Row. Right arm, right arm. Three, two, one, let's get it. Push up. Renegade row, right side. Good, good. We got our single arm bent row to overhead press. Right arm only after this. Three. Two, one, right side only. Three, row to single arm press. Two, one, let's go. Row, clean, press. Working that right oblique for sure. Remember to hinge. That's like awesome. Come on, press that weight up. If I break a hole in my ceiling, I'm gonna feel proud because it's powering that weight up. My husband get, might get mad, but I'll be proud. Three, two, one. Excellent job. We go right to our knee tucks to hollow hold. I know it's going a lot faster than before. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Knees in, hollow hold. In, Hollow hold. 
Good, arms out wide, legs out wide. Exhale and inhale, beautiful, y'all. Might be the only instructor that thinks this is beautiful, but you guys are really doing well. Eight more. Three, two, and one. Left arm, single arm bent, row to clean. Three, two, one, let's go. Row, clean, press, left side. Then you guys know what's next, our push-ups to single arm renegade row on the left side. Good, get it up there. Good, hinge. Three, two, and one. Single arm, renegade row, push up. Three, two, one, let's go. You guys know what happened, so I'm speeding up the transition. Chest comes down low. Try not to move those hips. Donkey kick, side to side or next. Excellent, good form. Eight more. Three, two, one. Relax, side to side donkey kicks in your bare position, or knees on the ground. Three, two, one, go. We got one more after this. Clean to press, vertical jumps. And then you get a long break. Good, 10 more. Shoulders over those wrists, back is flat, knees are close to the ground or on the ground. Three, two, one, 30 seconds. Clean to vertical jump, set, alternate that weight. Let's go, clean, pop, switch, clean, sit low, drive it up. You should be able to feel those biceps tomorrow. Come on, come on. Adding that explosion at the top. Five more. Three, two, and one. Good, rest. Grab water, take a breather. We're moving into toning. Which means we got three exercises, 45 seconds each, two times through. We got one more bear crawl position, and then we'll stop them. So first one, we got lateral bear crawl, and then I'm gonna allow you to hold that weight and do a V-sit, and then we got a chest press, a lateral bear crawl. Going side to side down that mat. If it's too much, do a plank walk. If again too much, you can always just hold that plank on your forearms. After that, you have your weight, V-sit hold, press that weight up and down, and then we'll come down to our backs. We'll bridge, weight comes down, then press again. So with your V-sit, you can just hold it, or you can add a little bit of presses. But just a reminder, after that, glute bridge, press. All right, first one, lateral bear crawls. 45 seconds, down and back that mat. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, watch you guys, close to that mat. Excellent, doing it, doing it. Come on. Side to side, all for 45. You guys are half 
halfway. After this, we hold that abdominal work. 15 more. Five left. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Grab that weight, or you can do it without a weight. V set, hold, or we hold the weight up here. Set. And let's go. V set. Hold the weight up. Or stay here. Or you can press it a little bit if your weight is light. You got 45 seconds, of course. You can drop that weight. You can put your hands on the ground. But you only do it if you need to. Good, we're almost there. Just keep breathing. 10 more seconds. Tight core. Beautiful, we go for three, two, one. Good. Chest press. If you have another dumbbell, you can add it or stick with just that one. I want your hips to drive up. Three, two, one. Blue bridge, chest press. Lower and lift, arms are right by your rib cage. Good, keep them in. Slow, slow, slow power up. If you have a light weight, you can do eccentric, make it a little bit harder. Slowly down, big press up. Come on. Toning that chest in your pecs, in your glutes, still bracing your core. 10 more. Nice. For three, two, and one. Let's do it one more time, all the way through. Lateral bear crawls. Three, two, one. Let's walk that mat and go. We got one more toning station after this one, and then your finisher. All 45 minutes of work. One to the next. Or you can do your plank walk. Or you can just hold a forearm plank if your shoulders are hurting. Over halfway. Keep that neck in neutral spine position. Go for 10 more. Five left. Good. Three, two, one. V sit. Hold that weight. Or without a weight, you can also put your hands on the ground if you need. Three, two, one, let's go. Lift them up. Excellent. Pressing that weight if it's light, or you can just leave it up, or right near your chest. Last one coming up. Good, let's give me 15 more. Maybe you bring up your legs a little bit higher, maybe you straighten them. Five, four, three, two, one. Blue bridge, chest press. Last one, set. And let's go, lose that object, whatever it is, weight. Hopefully it's not a pillow. <laughs> Woo! Squeeze those glutes, one inch higher. Again, slowly lower. If you have a light weight and you want it harder, press up, eccentric. Starting your weekend off right. Come on. Over halfway. Break is after this. Low, 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 drive it up. Good, Paulina. Five more. Three, two, one. 
Breathe. We got one more station. Next one is a little bit complex of a move, but you guys can easily handle it. It's just, just watch for a second. It's going to be a Superman. Superman. Lifting the arms, lifting the legs. Push up to a plank. Go to a pike. And then reach to the opposite toe, just like we did in the warm up, and then come right back down. So, Superman, push up, pike, reach to the opposite toe, and then come right back down. That's number one. Number two, easy, you can do it with one weight. If you have two, you can do that too. Tall kneeling hammer curl. After that one, you're doing a dumbbell windmill over and over. Hit. Forming a rainbow. Let's start with your Superman. To push up, to pike, to alternating, reaching those toes. Three, two, one, let's go. I'll show you guys. Superman, push up, pike, reach the opposite toe. Opposite toe, right back down. Here you go. Superman, push up, pike, opposite and toe reach. 45 seconds. You can just think of it as a Superman to opposite toe reach. But I like to add the emphasis on the push up so that way you're really focusing on your chest and not just falling on your mat to get to your Superman. Let's get it, 10 more. Three, come on. Two. And one. Perfect. Let's do our hammer curls. Lift and lower, tall kneeling. Three, two, one. Let's go for it. Curl right back down. Tall kneeling makes it harder. Pulling up that weight. If it's too hard, you can always stand up. You guys are looking great. Hammer curl. And we got our windmills, and we do it one more time. Easier said than done, though. <laughs> Good, don't arch that back, tuck that pelvis under. You got it. 10 left. Good, almost there. Three, two, one, you can drop it out, shake off those wrists, going from right to left, try to keep those arms straight. Set, let's go. Working those shoulders and that core. Lift it all the way over your head. Good, lift. Hips stay straight. Good, lighter weight might be needed for this one for sure. Arms are straight, lifting. One time I was with a client and I kept saying, straight arms, straight arms. And then I was doing it with her. She goes, Abby, your arms aren't straight. I was like, all right, you call me out. I'll call you out. <laughs> Perfect. Teammate work. Paulina, it was not you. Don't worry. <laughs> Five more. Three, two, and one. Excellent. One more time. Superman. Push up. Opposite and toe touch. Back down. Three. Two, one, let's do it. Superman, push up, reach to that toe. It's okay if you can't reach all the way. Just working on that flexibility. A little hamstring stretch there as well. Halfway, right here. Try to lower your chest down super slowly. That way, you can really activate that chest. Slowly lower. Five more. Three, two, one. Hammer curls. Right to it. Set. And let's go. Curl. Good. Breathing through. 
Good, sometimes you just need to do 45 seconds of curls, activate those biceps, keep them working, isolating one part of that muscle, still engaging your core so you don't wobble over. 15 seconds left. Good, almost five, four, three, two, and one. Good, nails up and over. Let's go for it. 45. Last one. And then you have your finisher. And yes, they have burpees, but we haven't done a burpee the whole class. So let me give you them in a finisher. Good, up and over. Excellent, next phase. Pull it up. Woo! Try to straighten those arms. 15 seconds left. You got it, you got it. Just a few more. Lift, lift, lift. Do not quit. Right here, last exercise. Three, two, one. Great job. Stretch it out. Crisscross. Grab water. Let's take a little breather. And I'll go ahead and explain our finisher for us. It's a fun one. It's kind of like a memory game in a way. You know, like we used to play those card games and flip them over and you always had to remember. This is kind of a memory game. All right, so your first one, no weights involved. You have four exercises. Each one's 30 seconds. I'm gonna start off with a burpee high knees, and then we'll add an exercise onto that every time. So you'll always do a burpee to four high knees. So lower down, press it up, one, two, three, four, back down, one, two, three, four. You can also jump down and jump up, or you can also step it and then step up. First exercise, burpee, four high knees. Second exercise, we'll add on to that. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. One burpee, four high knees. Continuous for 30 seconds. Modify if you need to. Good. Right there, right there. Perfect. Four high knees, right back down. You got it. Three, two, and one. A little breather. You have burpee, four high knees, into an inchworm. Right back up. Burpee, four high knees, into an inchworm. Three, two, one. Let's go. Drop it down. Back up. Four high knees. Walk it out. Right when you get back up, you go right into your burpee. Five more, come on. Three, two, and one. The best part about adding exercises is the fewer burpees you have to do. Next one, burpee. Four high knees, inchworm, into, one, two, three, four. Four mountain climbers, okay? Then you can walk it up and go back to your burpee. Here we go, three, two, one, go. Burpee, four high knees, inchworm, into four mountain climbers. And then repeat. If you ever forget, just go back to your burpee high knees. Inchworm, four mountain climbers. You got it. Three, two, one. Way to go. Perfect. We got one more add-on. One more add-on. Burpee, four high knees, inchworm, four mountain climbers. After
after you finish your four mountain climbers, you do one Superman. And then go right into your burpee. Four high knees, inchworm, four mountain climbers, Superman. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, come on. After those mountain climbers, go into your Superman. Your inchworm is walking it out into your mountains. Come on, five more. Three, two, one. Rest, good. I gotta make you guys do it one more time because now that we kind of know what's happening, we can do it and we can perfect it. So one more time, just stop that last exercise. That would be really rude if I made you do the whole thing. Burpee, high knees, inchworm, mountain climber, superman. Last 30 seconds, then we'll finish it off with a tiny bit of core. Three, two, one, let's go. And throw it out. And then Superman at the end. Back up to your birthday. Come on, 10 more seconds. You got five more. Three, two, and one. Excellent. Grab water, way to push through. Grab water, towel off. We'll come down to our mat. And let's do two minutes of core. Just two minutes, then we'll stretch. I know we hit the 45 minutes of work, but I kind of talked a lot, so <laughs> let's keep going. Down for our core work. Two minutes. Let's start off with some bicycles. All right, head all the way down. Three, two, one. Bicycles, timer's on. Don't worry, you don't have to do this for two minutes. I'm gonna tell you when to switch, but we're gonna try to keep moving for all two minutes. Good, push and pull. Good, you're gonna go ahead, keep that bicycle. You're gonna switch, pulse, switch, pulse. Go, switch, pulse, switch, pulse. So you're getting one inch higher after you switch to the other leg. Good, three, two, one. Switch legs, one leg's bent, one leg's out, and then lift and lower that straight leg. One leg stays 90, lift and lower, try to get those shoulders off of the mat. Three, two, one. Other leg, one leg bent, other leg moves. Shoulders off the mat. Working those obliques, you might feel them tomorrow after all our single arm exercises. Flex that foot. Three, two, one. Leg is up, reach for your toes. Good, shoulders off the mat again, pulsing it up. Go ahead, lower one at a time, right back up. Lower and lift, alternate those legs. You got it. You got 20 seconds left, then our two minutes is up. Let's go ahead, hover the ground, now lift one leg up. Hover the ground, then lift one up. So legs are low. Good, finish it off with froggy pulse. Press those heels together, lift and lower. Heels are pressed together, legs out wide, arms out wide. You got five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Woo, two minutes straight, done. We know it went over a little bit. 
That's all right. Let's stretch some more down here. Let's come all the way down to your mat. Go ahead, cobra position. Take it all the way up. You guys did awesome. Take it all the way back in a child's pose. My name is Abby. If you guys are from Bethesda and haven't met you before, I'm a manager at Arlington. Good. Come back up. Arch that back and then release. Arch and release. Excellent. Let's go ahead. Take those hips all the way up to the sky. Press your heels into the ground. Walk your hands to your toes. Hold that hamstring stretch. Good. Bring your chest over to the right side. And then bring your chest over to the left side. Come back to that center. And slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Let's take that right arm all the way over. Good, relax that shoulder. Let's switch other arm and relax. Take that right arm all the way up for your triceps. If you guys have any questions, please email me, text me, call me, whatever you'd like. Switch those arms. Remember to hydrate after this too. Good, pull back all the way, stretch out that chest. You guys did a lot of push-ups today. A lot of single arm rows. Interlace, pull them all the way forward. Good, deep breath, inhale when you're ready. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale. Great job, guys. Stretch a little more if you need. You did amazing.